boxing has never been a sport to shy away from controversy and outrage. It's also certainly not for the faint of heart or weak of jaw. But as with all combat sports, there are those that find themselves on occasion totally out of their depth. First off, though, kickboxing, and a shell shock fighter takes on more than he bargained for. Well, he's going to get the mandatory eight count from referee. Oh, goodness me. Well, Marty Cox doesn't know where he is. He uh, is actually tapping the referee, Andy Foreman. What a terrible shame there for Marty Cox. He didn't know where he was. Well, it's all over, surely. And Andy Foreman taking that well. Um, and Who'd be a ref, eh? Well, at least the last one had an excuse. You're about to see a young fighter called Chuck Sobey Daniel have a personal disaster of the most humiliating variety. No, it's not this chap. It's this disorientated fella in the red. And he's about to have a shocker. Chuck Sobey Daniel was a great character. Um, I had no idea what to expect when he came to the ring. Uh, it was hilarious. Uh, one of the funniest things, in fact, I've ever seen in a British boxing ring. He had had a disastrous start, but soon all that was forgotten. One man on a majority vote, so one judge thought the Zulu Warrior won it, and, you know, it was that kind of fight. He'd won. Was, uh, He'd impressed the judges and now could leave scored. triumphant with his dignity like restored. He doesn't even know how to get out of the ring, look. <laughs> um, he wasn't at all embarrassed by it. Um, no, I don't think anybody was. It was just very good fun. She should have got in the ring, didn't anyone tell her? Novice card girl Paula is also having problems getting into the ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris Sanigar there just informing her she should actually get inside the ropes. It's fair to say that she's had a disappointing start to her debut, but still she carries on regardless like a true professional. Well, a great sporting moment there. It's not the hardest job in the world. I was actually asked to brief her about what she should do. Told her everything, and everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. And uh, unfortunately for, uh, for Paula, the number fell out. Well, not a fantastic debut here. It's a, t a terrible shame, actually. Eugene Maloney, the promoter, he sacked her straight after that first round was over, and which was a great pity because she was very popular. And really someone should be giving her a helping hand, I think. For others, though, getting into the ring is a far easier and more shocking affair, especially when the beers have been flowing and tempers are running high. The punch quality, however, is not always the greatest. Yes, the milk tray man had managed to miss from behind with not one, but two clumsy haymakers. However, our final calamitous combatant was to make absolutely sure there was no room for error. Southampton Guildhall, and it's a crucial light heavyweight showdown between Steve McCarthy, Tony Wilson and, bizarrely, Tony's mum, Minna. Someone grabbed me from behind, and obviously I think that's the referee. So without even thinking, I think, well, the ref stopped the fight one time. As I go to put my arms up, it's her, isn't the ref. So I get hit over the end of the shoe. Then what I did was I just thought, well, I get out of the ring, defuse the situation. Which, of course, it didn't, because Steve was then disqualified for leaving the ring. As a result, Tony got to win by default, the bottle started to fly, and then within a matter of seconds, all hell broke loose. A very public kiss and make-up session was hastily arranged for the next day. Minna was there, but mysteriously, Steve was unable to make it, and so his trainer was left to cover. He's told me to, to ensure that Minna got his best wishes and he understands in his own funny way that he understood her actions. But would Minna be there for the upcoming rematch? No. no. You won't be going? No. Why? Well, if this happened to you, anything that happened to you, which you never have in mind before, and it happened, you wouldn't feel <laughs> happy about it. Well, that's cleared that up then. Unfortunately for previously undefeated Steve, his reputation was in tatters. I've lost my unbeaten record to a 65-year-old woman. Never, ever mess with the mama.